it up, y'all. All right, so I'm checking the fuck in. Hold on, let me get my rolly rolly. Oops. <sighs> oh, y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> Are y'all feeling the, the cancer sat in our position yet? <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> We got, I got the planetary transits up. Just a lot of, a lot of contrast and activity going on right now. And I wanted to make a video to really kind of talk about what the fuck is going on. It, it's, it's a lot, y'all. It's a lot uh, transpiring. It's a lot going down. I pulled some cards actually last night. And I was like, okay, so let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it. So, currently with this Chiron and Aries transit, especially being in cancer season, everybody's literally trying to truly step into or, or is stepping into or is battling stepping into this Chiron and Aries energy, you know? A lot of people are searching for themselves and who they are and, you know, who, you know what I mean? Just searching. It's a, it's a constant search. You know, the home right now is being shaken up. You know, when I think of uh, 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 Venus in, in Cancer, the sun in Cancer, the North Node in Cancer, like, being, you know, opposing, like, this direct opposition to um, Capricorn, and I think now we have a uh, this Venus and Cancer, you know, and Uranus thing going on, Uranus and, and, and Taurus thing going on. Everything, the foundation of who you are, where you at physically, is being shaped. It's being shaken, you know? It's, it's being shaken. And then we have a Mercury retrograde that also came up. Mercury, a Mercury retrograde, and uh, Jupiter retrograde. Jupiter and Sagittarius retrograde, Mercury and Leo retrograde. And these actually came up that way too. With the Moon currently in opposition to Neptune and Pisces. So, so spiritually, you know, cleansing and purifying the air, the room, you know, getting protected, being protected, um, just really connecting with the self, like connecting with who you are now. When you have a Mercury uh, retrograde in Leo, you know, Leo is, you know, the spirit. It is not, not Pisces is the spirit as well, but Leo is like the, the, the light. It is the sun, it is the, the ego, it is the highest point of, you know, who you are. It's fixed earth, it's unshakable, it's unmovable. You know, it feels what it feels, what it feels, what it feels, what it's feeling. You know what I mean? So, you know, just being firm, uh, you know, and, and recognizing who you are and being confident and, and carrying yourself like, you know, wherever you go, just bring in the light, bring in the sun, basking in it, shining. You know what I mean? It's like, what do you want to do? Moving forward, what you want to do? What do you want to build? Capricorn also came up in the reading. What do you want to build long-term, foundational-wise? That's why, that's another reason with this opposition to cancer stuff is going on. So we're breaking out of old traditions, breaking out of old Capricorn-established rules and traditions. And then cancer comes in and is like, okay, this is a soul. This is who I, what I want. This is who I am. This is what I need. This is what I need. This is who I am. You know, and healing those wounds, healing those, um, you know, healing your confidence and healing your, you know, um, fire. You know, cultivating your fire. You know what I mean? Dancing with your fire. You know, becoming this Aryan childlike energy, like the first sign of the zodiac. You know, it just just 
healing that, your inner child, your fourth house, your child, the inner, the child in you, your home. What is your home? You know, I think I mentioned this in one of the other videos, like, way back in the gap. But, like, what does your home look like now? Like, what's in it? This Venus. Venus in Cancer. You know, you know, take your time out for yourself. And healing the self. And, you know what I mean? Um, really, really going deep. I mean, Cancer's water. It's cardinal water. It's the ocean. It gets deep. The tides, the waves, the swings, like you don't know, the, the water is unpredictable, you never know what the water could do, you know, and, you know, really taking the time to, to heal, it's, it's, cancer is a very spiritual sign, it's a very, um, it's, it's the deep connection of the water, you know, water is ever, ever constantly flowing. You know, and it can purify you, it can cleanse you, it can, you know, make you, make you, you know what I mean? Um, and also with this Venus energy, you know, you know, decorating, decorating the home, decorating the house, you know, putting, putting, putting things in the house that you love and that you care about and clearing things in your space that you no longer need. That's another thing, Cancer. It's about, you know, being able to appreciate the things that you have and also being appreciated, also being able to appreciate the time when you need to let stuff go. It's another thing with Venus and Cancer. You know, it'll, it can hold on to things for so long out of wanting to cling, but you have to be able to give things back to the water because if it needs to come back to you, it will, but if it don't need to come back to you, the water will take care of that too. So that's another thing. And then the third house was actually the outcome card. So once again, Mercury retrograde right now is preparing us for Leo season. You know what I mean? It's preparing us not only for Leo season, but Leo season and beyond. Like how do you want to present to the world now? You know, how do you want to express yourself and expressing yourself boldly? Like how do you want to come into this new, this new world we're in? And being proud of that, you know, being, you know, every day waking up and going to go get it and, you know, setting, setting, setting that standard and shining, it's just shining and, 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 and being okay with basking in your shine, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's definitely been, it's going to be a review, it is a review, you know, Jupiter retrograde in review, uh, Pisces, Neptune and Pisces, you know, um, Saturn, I think is, is currently, I think it is, and, um, who else, Mercury, and, gosh, we just, we have so many planets in retrograde, and then we have eclipses, and then we have the, the full moon and Capricorn on the 16th, and that energy is already kicking in. You know, especially with this opposition, it's like, you got to figure out what the fuck it is. Go, you got to figure out what it is for you. It's time to figure out what it is for you and, and go for it. Take a risk. Go for it. You know, take this time to heal. So in Leo season, it's, it's nothing. You're kicking it off strong with all that fire, that intensity, that passion, that love, you know, and, and and moving. And that's all I got for y'all. I had to check in because I know I know y'all feeling that shit too. But I love y'all. I'll see y'all soon. I'll keep y'all updated. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. You know, you can visit Rainy Storm um, at gmail.com. And yeah, I'm going to see y'all today. Be safe in this bitch. And turn up for me one time. <laughs>